So when I was looking for some new bushcraft ideas, I, I turned out to my friend, Dan Wilwack, good friend of mine. Yeah, he doesn't know it yet. I've been stalking him for like a week from Cold Cracker Bushcraft. Anyways, uh, great guy. Uh, <laughs> so he said basically like, look, if you're wanting to find something bushcraft you to do, go find an old ax and restore it. Right. He's like, look, this is the best way to do it. Just go out there and find something for like four or five bucks over at the thrift store. And then you can go ahead and take that and restore it and make it your own. So that's what I did, except for the thrift store part. Buddy of mine, who is a beast, wound up breaking this axe. And then this one of becoming uh, inherited to me through uh, him just not wanting it anymore. So I took the head and I, uh, you can see the backside. This is what it looked like before. It's all jacked up and rusted and nasty and got some weird funky paint on there. But um, what I did was I took a piece of oak that I had seasoned really, really well, uh, carved a little notch out of it. And then I, I used uh, my, my mallet that I made, uh, I call affectionately Pound Town. And I took this thing to Pound Town, beat it in there and it wedged it in there. And I wedged in a couple of other pieces on the inside. Now it doesn't look great and it's kind of rough around the edges, but here's the deal. It's short because I could choke up on this puppy, right? And uh, yeah, it's cold. I'm wearing my I'm wearing my fluffy robe, which I'm going to be tie dyeing here shortly. So I have some tie dye stuff right there. It's going to be awesome. Anyways, concept: take your bushcraft skills to the next level. Find an old axe, restore it. I got one side done. I'm working on it. I wrapped it with paracord, uh, not paracord, but with um, bank line because I want to get rid of this roll of bank line. I'm done with it. It's not real true Mariner's bank line, so I'm just trying to get through it. I'll find out in a couple of days after a few uses of this thing whether it was a good idea to, to wrap it. Um, but either way, it doesn't matter. I made this. I had fun with it. I'm working on it. And the handle, it's, it's good. It fits, and it fits my hand. And I know it looks like crap, but I don't care. I'm going to continue to work on this until it's completely done. And this now becomes my new axe. Uh, my hand axe so again for shaving for chopping getting some light work done you know i'm not swinging it full swing to go into you know splitting wood you know off of a stump or anything that's not the purpose of this tool this is going to be just so i can bushcraft and get that extra material off with the weight that i need it's a knife with a big weight behind it so go out there do something get in the woods go play Enjoy yourself, but most definitely, get your dirt on. Now get!